touchdown. We are in Uganda. everyone it's just gone 7 a.m. here in Entebbe in Uganda we are waiting for Chris from Uganda Adventure Safaris to pick us up because we're going on an 11 day eco lodge tour of Uganda including gorillas chimps and maquis and waterfalls we're gonna be documenting the whole thing and sharing the top spots around Uganda hey Chris how are you, hey, good, to you too, good to meet you too man happy to meet you Chris. Introduced us to these bananas, which we've got a local market, and they are tasty. Do they have a, like a name for those kind of bananas? We oh. call it Kavalagala. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <Kavalagala>. <laughs> we've just crossed the uh, bridge into the northern part of Mikishin. What was the um, what was the bridge called? Karuma Bridge. Karuma Bridge, and we're now in the northern part of Mercusham Falls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we are very nearly here, and check this out. Look at that for you. Oh. So we've arrived at Fort McKees. Fort Mc. Oh. <laughs> What's that wrong? Fort McKeeson Lodge. Let's go to 1 to 10, how tired are you? 75. <laughs> oh, it's too early for me. Morning guys, it is 5.30 in the morning here um, in McKeeson Falls and we are just about to go out on our first game drive of the day and then we're going on a boat cruise a bit later on um, around, I think to the base of the falls, is that what we're doing today? Yeah, base of the falls today. Exciting, we're very tired but we're going to have a good day. We're rolling, Chris is here, we're ready to go. <laughs> Losers! <laughs> so we've just taken a little pit stop to uh, go to the bathroom, the public toilets here, and then the mountains in the background, that is actually Congo. So the, the mountains in front are still Uganda, but the ones behind are Congo. It's our spot to eat lunch. So we're just leaving the park and uh, we have a new Hello. driver. <laughs> And then we've come across some elephants. Wow! Check out our bridge <laughs> to our boat cruise. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nearly. 
would be the sort of thing I'd do. End up. There you go. We survived. Be useful Maybe. around here. Yes, it's beautiful. Watch out for the clocky dials. <laughs> so we're now going on a three hour boat cruise up to the base of McKeeson Falls or oh, really? Murkison Falls. Um, yes, we're going to the base, so it's two hours there and then one hour back. Right. Um, but hopefully on the way we'll see loads of crocodiles, loads of hippos and with any luck, loads of different animals drinking at the water. So. Morning guys, um, we are leaving Fort McKeeson Lodge today after an absolutely epic day yesterday. We were leaving McKeeson Falls National Park and then we saw a leopard uh, which stayed with us for about 15 minutes. We saw it in a tree, got some really, really cool photos and that's what we were looking for for hours yesterday. Um, so we were out for a 12 hour day, which was absolutely awesome. Got to uh, go on a boat trip to the falls as well. Now we're checking out here and we're going to do um, the hike to the top of the falls and then we are going to the south of the park. Um, later on today, so we'll keep you posted. We've had a fantastic stay here. The food has been mwah. And uh, yeah, it's a really lovely stay, um, considering they had a wildfire that took out um, most of their tents the day before we arrived. Uh, we had no idea. It's literally been so seamless here, but they, um, behind the scenes, they've been working so, so hard. So really appreciate that. Show of hands, who saw a leopard yesterday? I have seen a lot of girls, but the biggest booty girls they come from you. So we've arrived to the entrance of the park. We're sorting out the park entrances over there. And then we'll be good to go. So we've reached the falls and now we're hiking right to the top of it. We can hear it already, the power in that is insane. Look at the power of that. I don't think on video this will even do this justice. Like when we saw it from the boat cruise yesterday, I was like, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. But now being right next to it, this is wow, oh, this is amazing. And when we were on our boat trip, we went to just there. The things that we do to get the shot. <laughs> Follow me. This way! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Morning guys, we're checking out of Red Chili Rest Camp today and this is where we stayed. It's quite, this is a banda and we had a group of bats up here last night who were just chilling, uh, which was quite fun. Uh, but we're checking out of here and then we are moving down to Kibala Forest for the chimpanzee trekking tomorrow, which we are so excited about. Um, we've got two days there, um, but we've got a long drive today, so we've got about a seven hour drive today. So we're going to go and have some breakfast and then we should be getting on the road. So another really cool thing about Red Chili Rest Camp is that everything runs on solar. Um, so you've only got a, um, a couple of charging ports for phones and that sort of thing within your room because it's all on solar power, um, as well as a lot of rainwater that's collected. So if you want a sustainable, eco-friendly way of staying in uh, McKeeson Falls, Come and stay here for a night, maybe not two nights, because you uh, you want to go to the north of the park, which is on the other side of the uh, of the River Nile. Uh, but definitely for one night, it's definitely worth a good stop um, for you to be able to go and climb to the top of the falls. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. <laughs> One kilometer away, now we're off roading. Oh my god, this, look at this place. This, I think, could be my favorite place so far. Check this out. 
Look at this. Love it. I absolutely love it. Jungles of Kivari Forest. Yeah. yeah it's in the real jungle. So we're just following the lady to go and check in. How are you doing, babe? I'm very excited. Yeah. This is gorgeous. This is yeah. stunning. Wow. This is Eco Lodge vibes. This is beautiful. That temperature. It's good. Yeah, cool, Head? Yeah. Same way. Yeah, what about like the same? I'm in love with this place. I think this is beautiful. I want to go to that little walk. Yeah. So there's a 20 minute nature trail around here as well. So once we dump our bags, we're going to go and do that and then we can see monkeys, baboons, lots of birds, butterflies. So we're 100% going to do that. And then this is where we're staying. Oh, oh my, if that moves, I'm out of here. Oh, that's quite <laughs> Morning guys, we are up nice and early today because we are off for our chimpanzee trek. Um, so we're just going to quickly go and grab a bite to eat um, for breakfast and then we will be going to check in with our permits to start our trek. And it's a mum with a baby, and they are squeezing the fruits, squeezing the juice out of these fruits in this tree. But we have to stand aside because any time is peeing time. <laughs> Florence was just saying that there are around about 1,400 chimpanzees in the entire Kabale National Park, but only three of the groups are habituated. Um, and use the humans and they roughly have about 100 per group so we've just seen some of one of the groups and then one of the other groups is specifically for research teams um, and then the final group what's the other group for? rangers I think it was rangers we've just come across a group of males grooming each other <laughs> I think the baby and the joke. Oh god, this is my makeshift mask because I lost my baby. Okay, that was honestly one of the coolest experiences ever. And we're just following now the, um, the male leader. See where it goes. On the high in a process. So you take short, she's going to move. We had to go around Muria Numa, a Fuzi Karam Kati, to wait to any time now when the river began. He's going to communicate, watch what he's going to do. Watch. <laughs> so we've done the chimpanzee trek this morning and now Tegan is taking us on a community and a swamp walk um, within the Bugatti community and we've got and Godfrey. Godfrey is in training behind, so if we come back in the future, we may see him. Um, and we are, well, we've got a number of activities that we're doing over the next two to three hours, and we will keep you all posted throughout. So that was Sam demonstrating how um, the local community climb eucalyptus trees to cut the branches off at the top so that the trees grow straight and tall so that when they cut them down they can they have like the maximum amount of wood to use to build their houses and to build telegraph poles and how did you find it Sam? Much harder than Chris 
He's been doing it all of his life and found it a lot easier than me. Oriota! <laughs> <laughs> so we are just joining these lovely ladies and we are watching how they weave all of these baskets. So we were just outside seeing everyone's uh, wonderful items and all of the really, really cool process and then it just started to tip it down. So we've now come inside. You can hear the thunder. <laughs> you can hear the thunder outside and we're now just chilling inside, surrounded by everyone. <laughs> We've already done our drive and we couldn't actually see any. So we're just leaving the park now, but fingers crossed we might see something as we leave. No luck for the tree climbing lions thus far. No luck, but we've just stopped for a lovely lunch at Topi Lodge um, in the middle of the park. Oh no, just outside of the park, isn't it? It's just just the outside park. on the road. Um, and now we're onto Windy, but you never know from the road we yeah, might get lucky. Nice. So we shall see. We have officially arrived. At Bwindi? Yeah, in, in Bwindi, in and we're Bwindi. at Gandhi Uganda Lodge. And this place is just beautiful. Look at this. I can safely say I've never seen anything quite like that before. It, Stunning. What do you even say? Just, I'm just gonna give everyone a moment just to take this in. <laughs> No laughing, let them take it in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this place is awesome! 
Moses has just taken us to our room. What, um, Moses, which room are we? Crane. 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 Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh with that view. Oh my God, and these are eco lodges right in Windy Forest. And well, honestly, I can't describe the view at the moment. It's just incredible. Good morning. At eight o'clock, we have our gorilla trek briefing. And then we have the hike, which I think takes around three hour, three or four depends, hours. Depends it does are. depend on where they are. And apparently it's a challenging hike. So, uh, we're prepared, but uh, we're also very excited. <laughs> so we've arrived at the briefing point and we are just getting checked in. If anyone is doing this in the future, make sure you bring your passports because you will need them for check-in. And we shall be going in a maximum of eight people per group to see the four families within the forest. Are you excited? One, one family. There's four families, we'll be able to see one. Yeah. We're hoping to see the family with the babies because apparently one of the families has some babies, so. Fingers crossed we get that one. Uh, I'm an employee of Uganda Wildlife Authority. I work as a guide. So, Uganda Wildlife Authority, this is an organization which runs all protected areas in Uganda. So, on behalf of Uganda Wildlife Authority, I welcome you here in the Windy Impenetrable National Park at Rohija Station. You are warmly welcome. So there's four of us in the car, <laughs> me, Jazz, and then we have Chris, Chris and Benjamin. And, Benjamin. <laughs> and we are all excited even though Benjamin sees them every day. <laughs> Sorry Benjamin, what was the family we're tracking today? Uh, Orzogo. Orzogo. Yes. And it how many? has 17 members. 17? 17? Yes. Wow. It's a big group with two silverbacks. Two silverbacks. Two silverbacks. Yes. So as part of the trek, we've um, hired a porter, um, which the rangers were saying is very useful and very good for the community. Uh, so we have Alex. Yes. Say hello, Alex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Alex is going to be helping us navigate bits and pieces like this. So Alex. Jazz has already hogged Alex. Alex is staying glued to me. Yeah. <laughs> I think Sarah's struggling behind. <laughs> so I've officially been replaced. Jazz has found. This is my new man. <laughs> and, uh, Alex, tell us. So you you uh, walked three hours this morning to get here. Yes, yes, I have. I woke up at five. Yeah. Then I started to move at six. Then by eight forty, I was here. You were here, and this is your first time this yeah, this, this is season. My first this time season. after coronavirus. After coronavirus. Yes. Wow. Wow. The, the number of clients. It came low. It came low because of the uh, tourism. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you for for helping us. <laughs> thank you for taking me. Of course. We definitely wouldn't have been able to do this without him. <laughs> this is steep, but great fun. Um, so, if you want to help the community and also have a more enjoyable experience, 100%. It costs just fifteen dollars, which is like fifty thousand Ugandan dollars. Totally worth it. You're gonna dollars, you're gonna shillings. Um, totally worth it. So we are just preparing to see the gorilla family. Um, we spotted some, we can hear them in the trees. And we've just had our hands sanitised and our boots sanitised. And we have to wear our masks at all times so as to not transmit any um, infections or anything to the, uh, to the gorillas. And we have to remain 10 metres apart but if they do come towards you or if they do pound their chest you're just not supposed to run because <laughs> they can see it as a game so um yeah see what happens we are going to get our cameras ready we turn off the flash these animals don't like flash when your camera flashes they'll think you are throwing something which can harm them mm -hmm. and hence they become aggressive then uh, we are going to spend only one hour with these animals uh, these animals, they need their privacy. That's one. We've just found the gorillas. And Sam's looking at one up there. They're just in these bushes. And we're just following the silverback who's just gone down here. They're making noises. It's very exciting. We found the gorillas. And we're just by the silverback now. They're surrounded by 
my babies. That's the silver bag. And then there's a baby just in there. There's a baby up here. And some more all around here as well. It's amazing. This is the most amazing thing. It is just incredible. Silver bag is just there. Yes. 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 Now, when it comes to noon, mm. they rest like one hour. Then they eat the whole day. You can remove only one hour resting. This yeah. trek is incredible, but also has its challenges. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got muddy bottoms. <laughs> We've just come across a mum. Seven month old baby. Mm. See if the mum moves her, do we have to see the baby? She's watching us. She's breastfeeding. Oh, she's breastfeeding. Yeah. I'm sorry. So the silver bath is saying bye to you. Yes. In the ground. In the field, what's in on another side? Right here, yeah. It's a muzzle. Yeah, then. We are out. How are we? How are we feeling? Amazing, man. Get it good? Yeah, not even breaking a sweat. Jasmine. Go on, Patty. Jasmine, tell us. What was your best moment and your bad, bad moment? My best moment was all of it and my worst moment was none of it. Yeah. We have had an absolutely insane morning. Uh, the gorilla trekking was, there's no words, it was one of the best things I've ever done. And I think we've all had such a good time. Um, and we've driven now to Lake Bunyonyi and we'll stay here for the next two days and it is beautiful. As I've said on multiple vlogs already, I just can't believe that all of this is within the same country. So everyone needs to get to Uganda and experience what we've experienced because there's just so much diversity people are so lovely and the scenery is just so varied look at that and now kids it's time for knowledge with chris so this got its name from the presence of many little bats are the first group of uh, explorers when they came here uh, they had many many little bats making the noise and they asked the local people that what's that so local people in the, in their language Obunyonyi means many little birds many little birds yes we've so, arrived we are at Lake Bunyonyi Rock Resort now oh wow look at the view absolutely stunning going down this side my, lo <laughs> my legs are <laughs> you feeling it after the gorilla trekking <laughs> yeah wow this place is beautiful Let's go for a dip. So Lake Bunyonyi is one of the few lakes in, in Uganda where you can actually swim in because it doesn't have um, a parasite or it doesn't have any crops or hippos etc so you can go and swim it which we plan to do a bit later. So do I versus oh look at the seating area down there. You see that? I want to sit down there and then look at that view. I kind of on a corner edge, which is nice. And then you've got. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Lake Bunyonyi. Lake Bunyonyi Rock Resort. This place is definitely the largest place that we've stayed so far. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Ooh, come show you. And hopefully, a hot shower tonight would be nice. Yeah, we 
we've just um, asked if we could use one of the kayaks free of charge actually of charge. they said yeah so we were like they said they had them available and um so we've just um someone's just pumped it up for us which is very kind we've just jumped in we've and then oh, we've just seen two otters just over here so we're gonna go and investigate but look how look lovely this me. is Not good morning everyone slash afternoon here we are on lake Bignon at the moment and jazz is Struggling after yesterday's <laughs> gorilla trek. <laughs> it was so worth it, but it was a hard trek. So just as an FYI for those people who are interested in doing it. Okay, boat time. Filming. Filming, filming. You good? Oh, nice. Chris Cooch. Gandhi. Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. yeah. So we are just chilling on the boat cruise. Um, we've seen a couple of islands so far. Um, it's all very interesting. There's Leprosy Island. When yeah. um, that outbreak happened, they left people on there. Um, but now it actually has a school, a hospital, and something else. Some houses. Some houses yeah. on there. Um, so the kids. Um, have to get a uh, kids from the other islands have to get a bus boat, so a boat to school every day, um, which meant if you were late, you can't go to school that day, and if you want to skip school, you haven't got anywhere to go. <laughs> so um, attendance is pristine at that school. So we're now coming up to Punishment Island, which is the smallest of all the islands. With literally two trees on it, absolute no shade. And we've just seen Malda, who is the only lady to have survived on Punishment Island. And the BBC apparently came to film with her last year. So there's a documentary on iFi if anyone wants to watch it, um, which is, I think, Surviving Punishment Island. And you'll see the same lady that we've just seen, who is such an incredible woman, uh, so friendly, such a cheeky laugh. And she spent some time on this island. Uh, When the missionaries came, they saw how girls were suffering, then they had to stop the practice. Simon is rocking the life jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, man. I need one. Yeah, Chris, you'll be Chris is jealous. Let's go, Chris. Yes, please. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just in case, there's a few more people now. You never take life for granted. <laughs> <laughs> Spontaneous zip line. We were on a boat cruise, <laughs> boat trip, and saw a zip line and thought, hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah! Bye bye! Bye! Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby! Here she comes! Keep your head left. <laughs> so this boat trip changed quite quickly. It was bright sunshine. We were zip lining in the sun. And now... Hey Chris, welcome to Uganda. Look at Simon. Simon's freezing. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We are leaving Lake Bunyonyi today after two days at Lake Bunyonyi Rock Resort, which was a lovely, uh, nice to have a bit of a chill yesterday as well, and then do a uh, boat cruise in the afternoon. Leaving today for a long drive up to Ginger because we are white water rafting first thing in the morning, uh, which we will be vlogging about and filming about, so we will keep you posted on how it goes. But a nice travel day today, so 
we will catch you tomorrow. Morning everyone, we are en route to rafting. <laughs> According to Chris, the rafting is going to be like five hours today, which is five times longer than it normally is. Uh, so we're very excited and we're uh, heading to the source of the Nile now, which will be fun. Uh, ready to start rafting from around about nine. Juma, nice to meet you, Juma. Welcome, me too. And uh, yeah, if you know Juma, call me Big J. Big J. Big J. Love it. So Juma has just uh, briefed us. Big J. Big J. And uh, we're just going to go and get some sunblock, which apparently is a must. Also going to get an SD card because they've got a cameraman and you put your own SD card into the camera, which is awesome. So they're going to be capturing photos for us as we're going, yeah. which is super cool. But I'm also going to be taking this on the safety boat. So when we're uh, in between rapids, we can use it to do any filming that we want to do. Um, yeah, and we're feeling good. I'm excited. We're strapped in. How are you feeling? Here we go. I don't know. Next emotion. <laughs> yes. Look at that. It's amazing. We are near the source of the Nile. Ginger. Yeah. The movement is second moon. Yeah. Both on the same one? Yeah, same one. Same one. Oh no. On the left. Yeah, on the left. So you can film with traps. We still have okay. one. Might start one of the stuff we're gonna go yeah. first. Before we leave, we're gonna go part over there. And then we jump in the water. Okay, Here we go. Feeling go. good? Yay! We go for the swim. Forward. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Rolling. Go. 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 <laughs> this is fun. This is the turned out for us good free.